Did Attack on Titan Final Season Part 2 really live up to the hype? Coming into this Final Season Part 2, a lot of us were expecting this to be the finale of Attack on Titan, and some manga readers honestly from the beginning knew that it wasn't going to end here, and one of those manga readers was me. But that is completely besides the point, because whilst this season did not wrap up the story of Attack on Titan like most of us expected it to, it still gave us arguably, or at least what I would consider, one of the greatest Attack on Titan seasons there have ever been. This season was the accumulation of all the other seasons and just wrapped it all together into an absolutely mind-destructing, absolutely life-changing season. And it's because of this that, in my opinion, this final season part two was, again, one of the best seasons Attack on Titan has ever given us. The final season part one wrapped up on a very massive cliffhanger. In fact, it was right at the beginning of, quite honestly, what I would call the biggest fight in the entire story. And while I did expect there to be somewhat better animation for at least the first two episodes, the first two episodes still adapted the manga relatively decently and gave us a very enjoyable fight. Well, actually, I should say very enjoyable fights because there were quite a few. Eren vs. Ryan around 69,420 was truly a magnificent fight. And whilst I do think it was better in the manga, it was still pretty decent in the anime. And of course, a major change in the animation for MAPPA was the CGI's. The CGI did drastically improve from the previous season. I'm gonna be honest, Final Season Part 1 had some really weird CGI, but Final Season Part 2 definitely cleaned it up, especially with the rumbling. But again, the first two episodes were very well done, and even though there were some very enjoyable episodes, they're absolutely nothing to the next three that came after it. Episodes 3, 4, and 5 of the final season part 2 were without question some of the greatest episodes not only in Attack on Titan but in anime in general and I truly mean that because episode 3 had some of the greatest action in Attack on Titan Episode 4 had arguably, probably not even arguably, the greatest plot twist in Attack on Titan. And Episode 5 just wrapped everything all together and gave us this unbelievable conclusion to the War for Parodies arc. Episode 3 wrapped up an unbelievable fight, or again, fights. The cliffhanger of Gabby shooting Eren's head off was, even, even for a manga reader, just watching that was truly magnificent. The way they animated everything, and of course the introduction of the paths. Episode 3 overall was truly, was truly peak fiction. But then again, it was really nothing compared to episode 4, at least in my opinion. Episode 4 to me was probably the greatest episode in all of Attack on Titan because of the plot reveal that happens in this episode. This moment changed the entire story forever and it's why I regard the final season part 2 as probably Attack on Titan's best part yet. Now that's obviously subjective but I think we can all agree that this part was magnificent and this episode had a lot to do with that. Not only does it solidify Eren as an unbelievably menacing character but it also makes him the main villain of the story. Notice I didn't say antagonist because a lot of people including me a few months ago mixed that up but it did set up Eren to become one of the greatest villains in all of shonen especially towards the end of the story his character just becomes absolutely unbelievable and is truly a master class character he's nothing less than that i don't care what happens with the ending and while episode 4 had one of the greatest reveals ever episode 5 follows up with another one of the greatest reveals ever and that is Eren destroying the world this rumbling is a major theme in the final season part two it was in the opening and it begins about halfway through the actual season itself and runs all the way to the end this moment gave us a lot of insight into the character of Ymir and just the true nature of the Titans themselves and how everything really originated and I'm sure a lot of people were not guessing that a worm wait is that the, no it's not hold on the proper term is hallucigenia that, that bro I still can't believe it I mean manga readers it kind of makes more sense for us because they kind of explain it but for anime only that stuff just makes absolutely no sense. But again, it gave us so much more insight onto how the whole Eldian and Marley conflict began and that's very important because in case you didn't know, the Eldian and Marley conflict is like the most important thing in Attack on Titan. And after we get this immense backstory from Ymir with incredible animation and music yet again, the rumbling starts. And uh, Eren, with his absolutely menacing voice and menacing OST, crumbles all the walls on Paradise Island and summons every single Eldian to the Paths realm and just gives them a speech saying, yo, I'm about to step on all your mother's, father's, dog's, son's, kids, uh, never mind. After this episode, things kind of slow down. And for me, this is where the final season part two really started to go a bit downhill. Not because it was bad, but because the pacing was sometimes extremely boring to watch. I'm not gonna lie. Now that may be 
because I'm a manga reader and I already know what's going to happen. But I seriously think they could have stuffed episodes 7, 8, and 9 into like one and a half episodes. They literally did not have to make it three separate episodes. I'm being dead ass. But once we get over episodes seven, eight, and nine, I like how I just skipped episode six. They were pretty decent episodes. They weren't anything crazy. Episode 10, 11, and 12 wrap up the season absolutely perfectly. Episode 10, we get fighting between the Jaegerus as well as the Alliance. Episode 11, even more of that, just better. And then episode 12 was again, one of the best episodes in Attack on Titan. Episode 12 finally gave us some more insight onto Eren because we'd only seen Eren since episode 5 and it was now episode 12 so we gone seven whole episodes without the main character of the story being present and that just makes his presence in this final episode even better. The backstory that was supposed to happen probably around the fifth episode gets pushed back to the 12th episode and in my opinion that was quite a good move because combining chapter 123 with chapter 130 just made things so much more impactful in terms of Eren's character. You see one side of him that's so sympathetic towards the other people on the other side, how he truly feels about destroying these people, these innocent lives, and just how his mental state really is before he puts his plan of destroying the world into action. It's truly tragic to see how this character went from being so cheery and so naive to truly becoming this very regretful character, I guess you could say. I mean, he was pretty depressed in these final episodes, to be fair. And seeing this side of him being so sad and so regretful about his actions moving forward versus the other side of him in the later half of the episode who shows almost no regret towards destroying these people is truly magnificent and that's a side of Eren we see throughout most of the story people don't really see that there are two faces of this character probably even more than two faces he wants to destroy these people he truly has hatred for them but he also feels sympathy as he knows that beyond the walls and within the walls we're all the same. Episode 12 wraps up in an absolutely incredible way with probably one of Attack on Titan's best OSTs blasting in my ear, which was so, as well as just Eren and his mass, like bro, his Titan is like a good 12 colossal Titans stacked on top of each other type size. That man is absolutely ridiculous. But Eren's massive Titan, as well as his army of colossal Titans stampede Marley. And that's where Attack on Titan's final season part two wraps up. This season presented us with a different side of the character of Aaron Yeager, presented us with a completely, just utterly mind blown, developed a lot of incredible characters, developed a lot of our main cast, and gave us many, many emotional moments in every way. Did Attack on Titan Final Season Part 2 live up to the hype? I could leave that answer to you people watching this video right now, which is what I'm going to do, but in my opinion, there is literally no point in making this video. Of course, it lived up to the hype.